Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're here. If you're new here, welcome on in. My name's Julia and I am a plus size model and body positive content creator. I share my clothes and what I'm loving right now and just lifestyle things in general. But today's video is a little bit more model-y. So I recently changed modeling agencies. I was in one place for three years and it was great, but growing and building in new opportunities, I changed modeling agencies. But basically every agency has a different idea of who you are and what they want to show to clients of you. So that's your portfolio. It's all of these images that you typically pay to have made or like images from work that show clients what you can do and so every agency just wants different things from you and so where I'm at now wants a different vibe from me so we need to do a test shoot and a test shoot is kind of like a test you're paying a photographer and a hair and makeup team if you choose to have one to create images to show to clients what you're capable of and like who you are and like what your vibe is. So we're doing one of those in four days, three days, four days. Right now it's Monday and the shoot is on Thursday. And honestly, I don't really do shoots like this, this last minute. Typically, I typically like a couple weeks to like get my ish together. I like to take my time styling, you know, just get the vibes together well. And I, I don't get to do that this time. So it's a little chaotic to be honest with you, but it'll be fun. So first things first, we have our mood board for the shoot and this is kind of the vibes we're gonna go for. So we're shooting a fun like commercially lingerie look and then we're for sure shooting two ready to wear colorful looks. Basically we wanna get some more commercially vibes from me. So these are the vibes we're going with. If you can see it over here. I ordered some things that are coming in tomorrow and I'm a little nervous about and then I have some things I already own that I'm gonna wear so I'm gonna try those on with you guys and show you and hopefully they all work. We hope. We, we, we pray. I'm a, I'm a little nervous to be honest with you. Actually I'm really really nervous. I really hope my new agents like the images that we get so first things first um, I need to get my nails done. I need to get them filled so we're doing that today. I think that's kind of like the task for today and then tomorrow things come in the mail. Then on Wednesday, I wanna like try things on and like practice movement because if I'm being completely honest, modeling's not something I'm like innately good at. Um, it takes a lot of work on my end. Like some girls just show up and they're just like, I'm great. I'm moving and I look graceful in every shot. And that's just like, not how my brain works. So especially when we have a mood board and like I know from my agents what exactly they want from me, I need to, I guess, practice that. It's always really nerve wracking, especially when you're playing with money. It's like very expensive. I think this test is gonna be like, I think collectively with like clothes and getting my nails done and everything, this is gonna be closer to a grand. <laughs> which is really expensive. If I don't pull through, then like I will have wasted a lot of money. So we gotta pull through, we gotta we got bring it. So we're gonna practice movement, but today is all about getting my nails done. So I'm just gonna focus on that at the moment because I'm gonna get stressed. So I have like a neutral nail on right now, which is great, but I need to get them filled. So for modeling, you always have to have a neutral nail. You can't have any color. They need to be short. So I make them a little bit shorter than this. Um, they just kind of like need to like blend in, but this is, this is so dumb, but like, I can't not have fake nails on. Um, I like bite my nails, so Gel X or acrylic or something always has to be on my nails. So gotta go fix that today. That's what's going on, so come along the journey with me. I hope I get to bring you through the entire process, but sometimes testing can like getting images back and getting edits and all that can take a while. So hopefully this vlog we can get done in like two weeks. It's not gonna take like a month, but see so i hope you guys get to see this soon but honestly i don't really know but my camera's gonna die so um we'll wrap this up and i will see you guys in a bit hi guys it is now wednesday um so i didn't vlog anything yesterday but i feel like death today to be honest with you i am on my period and i am cramping so badly and it feels like my kidneys are going to like pop kind of been on the brink of tears all day and I'm supposed to be having people come fix my bathroom so basically the hot water faucet in my shower kept like spraying hot water out it was making the the knob so hot it would like hurt to turn it off so finally maintenance came like three weeks later to come fix it after they canceled on us twice now there's a hole in the wall like in the tile and on the other side of the wall and supposedly someone's coming to fix it today 
and they said they'd come between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And so I've just been kind of sitting all day waiting for that to happen because I wanted to film today and I had all these ideas for things to film and I didn't really want to film having like someone come in and out and like potentially be in my underwear when someone's coming in and out and I don't that's all so dumb. It's all so dumb, but I'm just like a ball of stress today. So I don't really know exactly what to do, but I really need to practice my poses for tomorrow because my test shoot's tomorrow. Thankfully, the pink lingerie set came in. It's from Aerie, and I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm going to go do that, but also I'm bloated. So I'm like not excited for that. I've been stressed about it all day, and it's now like 1.20 in the afternoon, and I feel like I've done nothing today, and it's really stressing me out and making everything worse. So super fun vlog today, but I really need to go do this and I want to practice my movement and just see how I move in the clothes and kind of get a better picture of what I want this test to look like because I don't know, I have a mood board and I love the mood board, but I don't really know what I want to look like in that, if that makes sense. So let's go, let's go work on it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I took a breather. I took some Nidol, that helped a lot. And the tile guy still isn't here yet, so I'm just gonna film and just not worry about it and hope they don't interrupt. Okay, this is the first dress. It is from Gia IRL, my friend Gia's brand. And I feel, I think, the most confident in this out of everything. I've worn this out before. I feel really good in it. And it's just really soft and I feel like I know really well what I look like in this, if that makes sense. Like the other pieces, I feel like I have to think about my body a bit more. But this just feels really good on me. I actually had a little too much fun in it. I wore it to Gia's wedding and I got a stain on it, I think over here or over here. It's somewhere, but I love this dress. So I'm thinking in this, I want to I wanna focus on body and shape in it because it is so form-fitting and it just shows off my shape. It's not something that I'm covering up anything. You really can't in this, so I really want to like accentuate really emphasizing my curves and showing off my figure, maybe making some interesting shapes and things like that maybe. I think this color is also really great on me so I can get some nice headshots maybe, get like a pretty eye, pretty beauty moment. I don't know, so let's play around in here. I'm thinking front facing is the move and I really like side I think it's really pretty with the arm and it creates a cool contrast but I feel like on this side it's not giving the same effect another thing I really want to work on is looking a little more natural in the moment I feel like I can like I can live in this space very well but like I want to have just some nice very natural very just like feeling raw and in the moment so that's another thing I'm, I'm really hoping I can get well, my battery's about to die again. My SD card, I think, is almost full. And my man to come fix my bathroom is here. So we're going to revisit this later. <laughs> it has been an hour and no one has entered my apartment to fix my bathroom. I'm a little livid. I'm, I'm a little livid. But it's okay because we get to look at another outfit now. So this is what I thought would be the second outfit of my test shoot. I was going to do two to three looks. And I don't love it. It's from Fashion to Figure and Leslie Sedora's collaboration with them. And this looks so incredible on her, but the skirt could definitely have some cool moments, but I don't like how the top fits on me. I feel like it makes me look dramatically larger on top than I am. So, um, I don't know. Should I practice moving in this? You know what? I'm just going to go try on the third look and show you that while I know I have time. <laughs> I'm back four hours later. Today has been such a mess. The guy finally came right as I changed into this look and I quick threw on sweats and ran to the door. And they did a great job and I'm very appreciative of them. But like, today's just not gone as planned. So I'm a little bit stressed, a little sweaty. My apartment's about 100 degrees right now and I couldn't use my bathroom all day and I'm on my period. That's how my day is going. <laughs> Let's just hope tomorrow goes super, super smoothly and it's nothing like today because honestly, I don't know if I can handle that tomorrow. I have to be at the studio by 9 a.m. So I need to get there at like 8.45. I need to be hair and makeup ready with everything steamed. So I'm gonna do that tonight, which isn't a lot of work, but still something to add on here. And I probably need to get gas in the morning. <laughs> so I need to be up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow, be out of the house by like 7.30. So this is great. We have a lot of prepping to do tonight. <laughs> But anyways, this is the last look I'll be shooting tomorrow. It is from Aerie, and it is the softest thing I've ever put on my body. I'm wearing an extra large, and honestly, I kind of wish I sized down everywhere. I feel like I wish I had like a little bit more support, but it's still super cute in this color. 
I can see on camera, it's like not doing it justice. It is the perfect bubblegum pink. It is so beautiful. And so for movement for this, I really want to stick with the airy vibe. I don't really want to go sexy. I have a lot of sexy stuff in my book and I want to keep this really like cute and girly and laughing and you know what I mean? So let's try to do that. I hope honestly I am a little sad and a little worried because I was planning on shooting three looks tomorrow but I really only have two I wish I had a backup but I don't know I think these are really great and it'll be really cute so I don't know I may go shop around in my closet and see if I find something else to throw in there for tomorrow but I feel like this is pretty good good morning guys I just pulled up to the studio to go do my test shoot this morning and honestly I feel like garbage I feel like hot flaming garbage I feel so bloated I was up so late just not feeling great and yeah I'm not having a great time but I look cute and that's what matters right yeah I mean in this sphere yeah kind of so yeah I did my own hair and makeup this morning I feel like my hair looks much better than I thought it was going to I was very happy about that I was up like nervous about how my hair would look but it's good um I haven't done my lips yet I'm gonna do that when I get in there and I whitened my teeth on my drive over so everything's going well but I have to make myself like a makeshift parking pass and I can't find my phone over. there we go I have to make myself a parking pass because I don't have a printer so basically to park in the studio here you needed to have like some pass to say you won't get towed and i don't have a printer and um and with all of the maintenance issues yesterday i didn't have time to do this we're gonna quick write this out this is my parking pass um so sorry my printer broke so fingers crossed fing fingers crossed because i can't get my boyfriend's car towed that would be really 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 bad I'm nervous, but I think it'll be good. So I'm gonna go head on in because I have to be in there in four minutes. So wish me luck. Um, hopefully I get to film a little bit and show you guys what we're up to. So fingers crossed this goes well. That's what I was like. I was gonna do. Is she? I don't know her. Wow. Wow. Oh, um, wow. This is gonna be hell choosing. These are pretty. Like the black is so pretty. I like it's, it. I'll see you one more. Let's go back to it. She is giving! Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wait, those are so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So yesterday I left you at the test shoot. Of course, my battery died. Shocking. Um, and I was showing you like some of the images we shot. And then I think I was showing you the blue dress look that we shot. So we did the blue dress. We did pink lingerie look. And then we... Er, the order was we did headshots and just a strapless bra um, just to get like neck up with nothing on my shoulders. Then we did the pink lingerie look from Airy, and then the blue dress from Gia IRL. And so we finished shooting that. We're like, okay, cool. We've done everything. Sounds good. I pack up my bag to leave. I am halfway out the door. And this wonderful man, Rain, goes, hey, wait, how do you feel about wetting your hair really quick? I'm in. So I quick wet my hair in the sink while he like 
pulled together an outfit for me so we did one last look that was very unexpected so i wet my hair in the sink and just quick brushed it back and i felt like voldemort with it all back i was wearing my skims dress as a maxi skirt and then his big denim jacket that he wore in the set that day and it turned out so sick and so very very quickly which is like very unusual for photographers he already sent me the contact sheet and i wanted to show you guys that so the contact sheet is how i make my selects because for a test shoot i get to choose my images so we shot 2,000 images yesterday and how many sheets is this this is there is about a thousand photo or no what's 241 times four 964 so there's like 964 photos for me to choose from and i have already made those selects and i already got the finals back which is insane but i want to show you guys the contact sheet and what that looks like so basically there's a ton of images on here it just shows me frame by frame everything we shot that wasn't me blinking and looking stupid and here are the headshots that we did like we shot so much and this is how i go through so then what i did is i just screenshotted all the ones i liked and then my and i had like 48 of them that i liked and i had to pare it down to seven so that's what came in the package that I selected. So my mother agent, Megan, and I went through and we made the selects together and I ended up choosing nine. So I ended up buying two extra edits because I am so indecisive. So here are the ones that I chose for that. I got two of the blue look. I got three wet hair ones. I think three, three, three lingerie ones, two lingerie ones, and then a headshot. I did choose more than I thought I was going to, but I really, really like these images and I just felt really good. But I don't know, Rain's energy was just so good on set. Like one thing that just really make or breaks a shoot is like the vibes that you have with the photographer and whoever you're working with. So if you're getting along with the photographer and you're collaborating really well, then like things are gonna go really well. But if you're not vibing, then it can be hard to get really great images. But Rain and I were just like having the best time. We kept coming up with new ideas. It was really fun. And then because we already got the images back, my book is already updated. So that's the whole point of all of this. So we update my portfolio. So that way clients are seeing the best version of me when they go to book me. This was a very unusual test shoot experience of typically I'm much more prepared and have like backup outfits and just like have it all planned weeks in advance. And then also this, it takes longer. Like I was planning on this vlog being like another two weeks. <laughs> but I have it done today, which is insane, which is great because I have some more test shoots in New York. So when I changed agencies, as I kind of said before, like everyone has a different vision for what your book should look like. So my new agency wants a lot of different like new things from me. So I gotta pull that out of the bag. So we got this one done that was more commercial vibes. And then we have, I think, some more editorial vibes going on in New York. I feel like that's typically the vibe there which is very nerve wracking to me because I haven't really done too much of that. I feel like I'm not that great at it. Like I'm good with the commercial smiley stuff, but I don't know, editorial and like, I, I don't know. I feel ridiculous doing it. So hopefully I get to grow in that a little bit more, but this shoot definitely made me feel more like in tune with my body. Like I really understood what my body was doing when I was moving, which is good. So that's always like a thing you have to keep working on that I'm definitely still getting better with there were some images when i was going through the contact sheet i was like ma'am what, what, what were you thinking here like, what was the thought process i'm really happy with how it turned out so i'm nervous for new york but i will be vlogging all of that too so we're gonna see what i can show you for that honestly i've been kind of avoiding doing test shoots this past year like i've done a couple but like i haven't really like, been excited about it and i don't know this just like rekindled my love of creating in that sense you know what i mean like I'm excited to keep doing that. I was already like messaging other photographers who like I've talked to before, like, hey, let, let's go, let's go make something cool. <laughs> so I'm excited to keep making stuff. It's definitely felt like a minute where I've been like, maybe I don't like this. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a weird couple months where I was like, maybe I don't like modeling anymore. Maybe I don't. I'm not inspired by this process anymore. And just rekindling that a little bit was really cool. But anyways, I will stop babbling. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time, very, very, very soon. <laughs>